please note that unlike most of these types of videos on YouTube, we only make videos about the fish we are familiar with and have filmed. We always use scientific studies, and we never use unreliable sources like Wikipedia. Thanks for your attention, and now on with the video. Welcome to the fascinating world of the balloonfish, a remarkable member of the 120 species in the pufferfish family, known for its unique traits and survival strategies. Let's explore what makes these ocean dwellers so extraordinary. Balloonfish, often mistaken for their close relatives, the porcupine fish, another type of pufferfish, have distinct features that set them apart. Unlike porcupine fish, they lack spots on their fins and display brown markings along their bodies. They're also more compact, reaching a maximum length of about 20 inches, roughly half a meter. What makes these fish truly stand out is their defense mechanism. Covered in sharp spines that lie flat and stand up when in danger, balloonfish can inflate their bodies to three times their normal size with water or air when threatened. Picture a small soccer ball bristling all over with nails. Most predators think twice about swallowing that. However, this impressive trick comes at a cost. Studies show that puffers are vulnerable while recovering from deflation, so it's best not to provoke them to inflate. It could cost its life. Their powerful beak-like jaws are another marvel, capable of crushing clamshells and other marine mollusks with ease so that they can eat what is inside. These jaws are so durable that scientists often find their tooth plates preserved in fossil deposits, dating back hundreds of thousands of years. But beware, those jaws are strong enough to also snap human fingers, so keep your distance. As relatively weak swimmers, balloonfish rely on camouflage and shelter to evade predators like sharks, tuna, and dolphins. In addition, young balloonfish have to also evade being eaten by birds. That is why young balloonfish are often found hiding in crevices, under ledges, or among tall seagrass beds during the day, emerging at night as nocturnal hunters. As you can see in our video, shot in the Caribbean, this baby stays close to cover looking for food. Their tan olive bodies, accented with brown patches and striking yellow irises, blend seamlessly into their surroundings. They're surprisingly tolerant of humans, provided movements are slow, and unlike some sea creatures, they don't mind a light when videoing, as you can see in our footage. When it's time to mate, adult balloonfish venture into the open ocean. Their spherical eggs float freely, carried by currents for a four-day incubation period before hatching into tiny puffers, ready to embark on their own journeys. Although the majority of pufferfish species live in tropical and subtropical ocean environments, some exist in brackish and even freshwater. However, balloonfish are strictly marine and are found in tropical and subtropical waters, as indicated by the yellow area of this map, primarily in the Caribbean, Gulf of America, the southeastern coast of the United States, Indo-Pacific region, including Australia's coast, Southeast Asia, and the Indian Ocean. They also inhabit areas around the Red Sea, East Africa, and as far east as the Hawaiian Islands. Typically dwelling in shallow coastal waters, reefs, and lagoons, they thrive in environments rich with hiding spots and food sources. From their cute, expressive faces, to their incredibly powerful jaws, to their ingenious defenses, balloonfish, also known as pufferfish, are a unique treasure. Next time you encounter one, observe from a respectful distance and marvel at their unique adaptations. Let's protect these incredible creatures and their habitats for generations to come. If you enjoyed this video, check out our others on tropical sea life, stingrays, and needlefish. We only make videos about the fish we know and have filmed, and we never use unreliable sources like Wikipedia.